Hi guys and welcome to 123MyT's video on forgotten iOS passcode. Okay guys, so we've all done it. So either yourself or a family member has entered a passcode on your iOS device. So I'm talking about an iPhone, an iPad or an iPod. And now you can't unlock the device. You can't get, you can't get back into the device uh, to, to use it. Now this video will show you how to remove the passcode. But just bear in mind this process will only allow you to remove a passcode if you delete the data on the device. So if you can try and remember the passcode before you go through these next steps, that's, uh, that's advised. Otherwise, what you can do, depending on how you actually backed up the device, what we can do is we can erase the device and then do a backup and get your data uh, back through a backup, either through iTunes or iCloud. Okay, so there's three ways to erase your device and remove the passcode. So the first one is if you have backed it up with iTunes, we can erase the device through iTunes. The next one is through iCloud, we can erase the device through iCloud. Or if you haven't done either of those uh, when you had access to the iPad, then the last way is to erase it with recovery mode. So let's get started. Okay guys, so the next step here is to plug in your iOS device with the computer that you synced with. If you've plugged in your iOS device here and it comes up asking you for a passcode, then you haven't plugged it into the right computer that, and synced it with the right iTunes. So try a different computer in your household. If that doesn't work, then you might need to do the third step, which is recovery mode. Okay, so we've plugged in our iPad here. You can see our user's iPad. And if we want to go ahead and uh, erase the device and get rid of that passcode, what you'll need to do is click on Restore iPad. Then you want to press Restore. Okay, what it will do now is if your computer's on the internet, it will go out to the Apple servers and it will download this software, which is the new, the new iOS version that it's going to put on your iPad. So just make sure that your computer is connected to the internet uh, because this one has already downloaded a, pr uh, a copy of this iOS 10.3.2 previously so yours will need to actually go out and then it will there will come up with a little download bar in the top here and it will take maybe uh, five or ten minutes to download uh, the software for it. Alrighty so the uh, restore has now finished you should be able to press your home button go in and select your language and we'll select your country all right choose your network so you'll be able to go through and choose your Wi-Fi Right, just disable your location services. Set up Touch ID later. Passcode options, so you can put in a new passcode here. I'm just going to put don't add for this time, just for the video. And to set up as new iPad. Don't have an Apple ID or I've forgotten it. Set up later in settings, don't use. Alright, hit agree and don't use Siri, don't share, and get started. And there you go, so we've now removed the passcode lock. Unfortunately, we don't have any um, uh, data, but what we can do now is if we've plugged into iTunes and we've done a backup previously, we'll be able to restore a backup from the iTunes, and I'll show you that now. Okay guys, so it's now uh, still plugged in and you've gone through and you've set up your iPad again. You should have two options there in your iTunes. You'll have set up as new iPad or restore from, from this backup user's iPad. So this is the one that we want to select and we just want to hit continue there. And what it will do now is it will go through and hopefully restore any backup details that we had on the iPad. Okay guys, so we've successfully removed the passcode and we were able to do a restore of the backup data with iTunes. So this video has actually gone quite a long time, so I'm going to break it up into three parts, and I will put a link to the description of the iCloud, uh, how to remove the passcode with iCloud down below, and also I will do another video on how to remove passcode with recovery mode, and I'll also put a link in the description below. So have a look at those shortly. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it from me for this video. If this was helpful, please leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to share and subscribe. And thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.